The Lynn Lai Centre in Taranaki has smashed visitor expectations in its first year with 150,000 people coming through its rather glorious doors, a third more than predicted. But despite this, there are some grumbles still that not enough of the New Zealand artist's signature kinetic sculptures are actually permanently on display at the New Plymouth Art Museum. Our Taranaki reporter Robin Martin has more. When the Len Lai Centre opened in July 2015, it featured a dramatic new 8 metre tall version of the sculpture Fountain, surrounded by three earlier versions of the piece. Kinetic Works Universe and Grass were also on display in the $12 million complex, while Trilogy was mounted in the adjoining Gavette Brewster Art Gallery, but never performed due to mechanical problems. A year on, Four Fountains is the only kinetic piece on show. The chairman of the Len Lai Foundation, John Matthews, says the visitor numbers are fantastic, but he sympathises with those who want to see more of Lai's sculptures. We're sensitive to that. That's the Len Lai Foundation. Uh, we agree with the uh, people who visit and say, can we have some more kinetics? Uh, and they are available, and my understanding is that's going to be addressed. Mr Matthew says what is on display at any one time is a curatorial decision and out of the Foundation's hands. Former councillor Lance Gerling Butcher chaired the Len Lai committee and is also disappointed more kinetic works are not on display. It's obviously uh, causing some angst, um, and it was, <coughs> I certainly expect, personally expected to see more, but you know, we, in, in that respect, we do have them on permanent display, but there do seem to be a lot that haven't been shown yet. Mr Gerling Butcher says the centre's director, Simon Rees, has put on a fascinating programme this year regardless. When you appoint a director, it's a bit like pointing the captain of the ship. He, it, it, he is the man who calls the tune, and I presume that Simon has some good arguments for the number that he's got on display. Simon Rees says the centre aims to give expression to the full breadth of Len Lai's work, which includes film, photography and painting, as well as his kinetic sculptures. He says it's not realistic to have all 17 of Lai's existing sculptures on display at once. Well, the kinetics are machines, and like every machine, they need rest, they need repair, they need to be treated expertly and by experts. So at any one time, we can only have a certain number of things uh, on show, while the other ones are being worked on uh, behind the scenes. Mr Rees preferred to see any carping in a positive light. I don't see it as a criticism, I see it as an expression of uh, public audience's uh, desires actually. They've come, they've seen Len, they want even more and we're going to find ways of giving it to them even if we haven't done so in year one since opening. Visitors to the gallery this week were split on whether there was enough kinetic sculpture on show. Just now we saw his uh, work um, with it, I think he called it Fountain. If that part was all, then I th I'm, I'm definitely willing to see more. I was expecting to see more sort of things like the, the fountain. There's always room to see more, but um, this is only one exhibition. Not enough of, uh, of the uh, Len Loy. You can only exhibit one or two of his things at once, really, because they need space and there's too much to absorb if you've got too many. I think it's incredible. In the coming weeks, seven new versions of Len Lai's wind wand will be installed on the New Plymouth foreshore and in September, a rebuilt and functioning trilogy will take up residence at the Len Lai Centre. For Checkpoint, call Robin Martin Tenney.